Okay, it's been raining a lot lately, so I wanted to come out here, and I've been working too. So I wanted to come out here and see how everything is going. And it looks like my tomato plants need some help. So I'm going to fix that. Got some tomatoes going on in there, and I'm going to keep an eye on those for when they're ready to come out. Wow, these things, this rain is really, really, really good. It's, wow, these things are growing a lot. Okay, it's time to do some work today. Wow, look at the green beans. Guess what we're having for dinner? All kinds of beans. Yeah, I have a lot of work to do today, guys. Let's go around here and look at the corn. Oh, look at the corn. We've got more and more corn going. Yeah, I think that one is ready. Look. Oh my goodness. Who knew you could grow corn in a pot? I didn't, but I did. <laughs> okay. Now, I work my way over here. Look at this broccoli and see how we're doing. And all these other goodies. Oh, got some little bugs in there. Get her, get, get. Oh, okay. Got some little tomatoes. Lots of tomatoes. I don't see any broccoli. No, no broccoli. Let's see if, how the peppers are going. I had one. There it is. See that one? Can you see it in it? Yeah, right in it. See, right there. And I got little bitty ones growing. Alright, looks like I have a lot of work to do, guys. Alright. Let's get to work. Okay, so I'm out here going through this stuff and separating and tying up the tomatoes because they look like that. And, uh, you might be asking, why did you decide buckets? Well, I decided buckets because I thought... It might be easier, I can just move them around, and it, yeah, it is, it is, you know, because, I mean, if, if you have them in the ground and they're not doing well in a certain area, you can't just pick them up and move them. Well, putting them in buckets is also another challenge in itself because there's not enough room for the roots to grow. Yeah, they can grow a little bit, but they're not able to grow, I think, to their full potential. Um, I could put them in big containers, you know, but that gets really, really costly. Just doing these buckets were a little on the costly side because, um, I did have to purchase probably 75% of them, um, and it, it, it's, a, it's a little frustrating, but I will have to say that I know the end product of what I'll be getting out of it will be great. But it's it's challenging. Just like the the broccoli I think is not growing as it should because they are in buckets and they're just not able to, you know, get what they need or, or something. I don't even know at this point. Like this is my first time ever doing this, uh, in buckets and pretty much ever growing anything. I had a garden one time about 20 years ago and it was in the ground so you know it, it went like wildfire but um, my husband tended to it mostly so I wasn't really out there a whole lot with that uh, but this one you know I've been trying to uh, come out here and tend to it and work as well uh, it's a little difficult I work uh, full-time you know but um, I think it's doing pretty good, probably could be a whole lot better, but I'm, you know, doing the best that I can with it, 
I just need to pay more attention to it. Uh, and with all the rain that we've had lately, you know, it's everything is growing a lot more, like the tomatoes especially, you know, they're pretty hardy. And they're growing together, and you can see the, the yellow leaves over there. Um, and I think that's because they are too close together, and they're not getting enough of their own space. So I'll be tending to that today, uh, expanding the garden, because everything is too clumped up now that it's growing. Um, yeah, and taking care of some things that I should have taken care of before, but like I said, I work. And uh, it's just time to take care of it. Now I have a couple days off, so I'm going to fix it.